For other uh, big story tonight, breaking news at this hour, a gunman barricaded inside an assisted living facility after taking a woman hostage. This is happening at Shane and Robert Bradby Drive on Detroit's east side. Police telling us this stemmed from a domestic violence situation. We're going to get right to 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast. Just arriving on the scene, Brett Phyllison. Yeah, Glenda, that's right. We just arrived a little bit ago. A 39-year-old man, had they had the call for the domestic violence situation, had that hostage. He had fu fired a number of shots. Luckily, that hostage is out, but many people still remain in this building. It is a high-rise assisted living facility. Police say they're here at the command post, and they say that they were able to clear out about two floors of this building. But as you can see, the majority of the people that live in this building are still there. And as you as we said earlier, is an assisted living facility. So Chief James White had said that there are many people uh, that have different disabilities that are uh, having issues getting out very quickly. So they are still working to get those out. And the chief had said this is a very dangerous situation. We just pray that we're able to get through this without having to use force. But he is armed. It is a very, very dangerous situation. And we're hopeful that uh, we'll be able to get everybody out safely. Um, but I, I, I do want to press upon everyone that this is a volatile and very dangerous situation uh, that we are dealing with right now. Again, police say they are still talking to that man who has mental health issues, and they say they'll be here through the night until the situation is resolved. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, Brett, and we're hoping peacefully. Thank you for keeping us updated. Dave.